you're thinking about moving to Staten Island and you're trying to decide which section to move to, the North Shore, the South Shore, or right smack in the middle, we call it Mid Island. Well, today we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you the entire South Shore section. Everything you need to know on the Google Maps, the schools, the parks, how far it is to get to Brooklyn, New Jersey, Manhattan, everything. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna share a up-to-date market report with you about what's going on in Staten Island right now. So let's get into it. All right, we are back into Staten Island. Let me get my pen. So remember, this is the islands, right? This is Staten Island. We have, we we're gonna break it up into three sections. The South Shore, the Mid Island section, and the North Shore. We're gonna cut it off right about Great Kills. So this is the South Shore. We're gonna talk about Mid Island in another video and the North Shore in another video, right? So let's clear this screen. Let's zoom in on the South Shore, right? Let's talk about the highway again, remember, and the bridge. So this outer bridge crossing right here goes right into Jersey and right into Staten Island. It splits off into two sections on the South Shore. Section number one is going to be right here, the West Shore Expressway. That one drives, all, well drives, <laughs> well you drive on it. It goes all the way to Brooklyn. That one goes through the islands. But the South Shore is special, right? Because it has its own highway, Koreans Wars Veterans Parkway. Let's call it the South Shore Expressway. Why? Because it only travels on the South Shore. So that's a pretty cool fun fact, right? It starts here in Jersey and it goes all the way through all of the neighborhoods, literally all of the neighborhoods on the South Shore and it ends in Arden Heights. Because right here, it's considered like mid island section. Let's see, where are we? It's about mid island over here. So it goes through all of the South Shore, which that's just a fun fact, it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's start with Tottenville. Tottenville is the last area, last neighborhood in Staten Island closest to Jersey, right? You have the conference house here. You have parks, conference house. Let's see if we can zoom in. I know there's a really pretty picture. There we go, that's the conference house. Um, there's a lot of historic things that happened back there, back in the day, which we, I can make a whole nother video about that. Actually, when we do the Alone Tottenville video, we're gonna do that. Right now, we're just breaking down all of the sections in the South Shore, all right? So here is your conference house. That's at the tip of Tottenville. Remember, Highland Boulevard right here runs the whole island, right? So goes through Tottenville all the way down to Brooklyn. So there's your Highland Boulevard. We also have Amboy Road, right? Amboy Road ends in Tottenville as well, and Arthur Kill Road. So you have your three main streets, Arthur Kill Road, Amboy Road, and Highland Boulevard. Run through Staten Island. Page Avenue is in Tottenville, and that is another main street. On both sides, if you go up from here, like say you're going up to the bottom, if you make a right going up onto Page Avenue, you have all new construction here. Here, all new construction houses, they were built maybe four or five years ago. And then over here, you have all of your, as you see, there's all stores over here. You have CVS, What's Upon a Skirt, there's W's Bar in there, Pizza, the, the whole place, Campania's. I have done other videos on there. Their food is so good. Down here, you have an urgent care center, a Walgreens, Bagels, Tottenville Bagels, Taco Bell, all. So right here is like your, one of your main sections in Tottenville, right? So we are still in Tottenville. So let's go out a little more. Down here, Amboy Road, you're also gonna have a lot of shop, not a lot of shops, but there's also going to be other commercial spaces and restaurants, stuff like that. You have Aloysius right here. That is a bar slash pub, well, lounge. Um, over here, where are we? Chinese, oh, I love a good Chinese. I'm a big lo mein fan. <laughs> let's see, Tottenville Food Market. Town Deli, okay. Town Deli, Town Country Deli, Steph's Creativity Corner. Steph's Creativity Corner, that store is super, super cute. We actually did a whole video on it. For Easter, she actually handmade these huge eggs, like for the kids, she wrote their names on them. 
with like this fancy markers and she put all the stuff in the eggs and surprisingly, it was just super cute. There's a video on my YouTube, go check her out and she is so sweet. All right, what else do we have here? Your nail salons, your hair salons, your pizzas, you know, all of that fun stuff. But let me show you the highly sought after places, right? Reggiano's Brick Pizza, highly recommend. De Luca's Italian, highly recommend. Bella Bocci's Bakery, highly recommend. Isn't it weird that I'm doing this video and I'm getting hungry? <gasps> ah, Staten Island is known for its food. Like the food out here is amazing. You know, I, we're part of New York, so the food's just so good. Okay, Mikey's Bagel Shop, they have really, really great bagels. Really great bagels. Um, highly recommend you go there as well. The Grind Coffee Bar, we all know I'm a big fan of buffalo chicken wraps and coffee. If you are new to this, you'll see in every video, there's always gonna be some type of coffee shop. And if we're passing a food place, we're gonna talk about some type of buffalo chicken wrap. All right, so Amboy Road, as you see, lots of shops. You have your Tontonville Library here. There is a police department in Tontonville. Let's find it. Tontonville Police Department. There are police departments throughout the entire island, and I will point them out as we go through. But there is one right in Tontonville. So there's here. Let's get out of this. Town Deli. I'm going to just zoom in on this Town Deli. Ooh, they're so, so, so good. I actually featured them in my Tontonville tour video. But yes, so good. That's the main things in Tontonville. Let's go to the marina, actually, because the marina is in Tottenville. Right here, Angelina's. Food here is so good. They have a waterfront view. Really, really, really good. Train station. Where is my train station? My train station is right here. Here we go. Train station right here does go from Tottenville all the way to the ferry. So you have your train station for transportation. And then right here, you have your buses. So off the Kill Road is a main street, you have your bus stops. Okay, so let's get out of Tottenville. Let's go to the next area. We have Pleasant Plains. Pleasant Plains is a part of the South Shore as well. We have, let's go at the bottom. Pleasant Plains is known for Mount Loretta. Mount Loretta is right here. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of things to do there. A lot of history, nature, hiking trails. Right down here below Highland Boulevard, you have more greenery. You have more greenery down here. As you see, Highland Boulevard does travel through. You have the cemetery. You have a lot of um, schools over here. You have PS25. You have a gym. Mount Loretta, oh, Friendship Club. It's just m other parts of Mount Loretta. So you have your soccer fields here. Right up here, another big plaza. A lot of, as you see, stores. And we got Dunkin'. Talk about an amazing combo. Look at that. Dunkin' Donuts and Ralph's Ices. You go to Dunkin' Donuts, you get your coffee, and then you go to Ralph's Ice and you get a cannoli with graham cracker and you're gonna thank me later. So if you do come to Staten Island and we take some home tours and it's in Tottenville, or Pleasant Plains, let's go over there. <laughs> All right, Amboy Road cuts through. Where are your bus stops, right? Bus stops are all along Amboy Road as well. So if you do go to Pleasant Plains and you live closer to a bus stop, I mean, and you need to be closer to a bus stop, you're gonna wanna move somewhere around the Amboy Road area, right? Okay, you also have, you have Lemon Creek Tidal Wetlands area here, Sagayan Mansion. You're gonna hit your first hospital, right? You have a hospital right on Sagayan. That is, Staten Island New University Hospital, the South Shore, so the South. The North is in Dungan Hills on the other side, closer to Brooklyn. Now, if you want to, if you say, hey Al, I want to be 20 minutes from Brooklyn. Tonville, Princess Bay, Pleasant Plains, probably not the best area for you. Um, if you go to Tonville, look, you're right next to Jersey, right here. This is Jersey, right? Jersey's right here. There's traffic on Staten Island just like there is anywhere else. So if you're driving or you're taking a bus, it is going to take you a lot longer to get from Tottenville to Brooklyn during rush hour traffic. That's, it, it is what it is. That's, you know, I'm not going to tell you there's no traffic. There's definitely traffic. There's no reason to lie to you, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get back down here. Where are we? So you have your school, Ta another fun fact, Tottenville High School, is not in Tottenville. Tottenville High School is in Princess Bay. Also on the South Shore, but it, it's Princess Bay. 
And again, I'm gonna go through details of each and every neighborhood. We'll do maps of all of them. This is just to show you what's on the South Shore. And then we're gonna break it down even more in the videos to come. Down here, Southeast Annadale. Southeast Annadale has a lot of really pretty waterfront homes. Um, really expensive, really pretty on the beach. Right over here, really pretty houses right off the beach, which is, which the, like I said, really pretty. Annadale also has buses, also has trains. A lot of, a lot of places, a lot of neighborhoods on the South Shore are all gonna have transportation, except, and I might be wrong, I don't think the, the train runs Charleston. I think it's just, yeah, so your train is here, right? Your train station is here. So the areas on the South Shore that don't have a train is gonna be Rossville, it's gonna be Charleston, it's going to be Aspinall's Way, um, and Village Greens. Village Greens, Aspinall's Way, they are on the South Shore. The, in these two areas alone, you're going to find a lot of condos. There's a lot of um, homes together, right? Let's see if we could just, like for instance, Aspinall's has a development, development in there. Uh, Jamie Lane, Alyssa Way, there's a couple more. There's 270 homes in there and they're all townhouses next to each other in one big development. That's what, when I think of um, Espinol's, that's what I think of, that development. So Village Greens has a lot as well. So see how they're close together? These are a lot of little communities inside of like Arden Heights. Again, no train station up here. You do have your buses, right? Cause you have your buses on Arthur Kill Road and Amboy Road, Woodrow Road right here. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see it. Woodrow Road, Arden Avenue, you're gonna have your buses, right? Arthur Kill Road, Rossville Avenue, you'll have your buses. Arden, we circled, Woodrow Road, we circled. So you're gonna have your buses up here. You are not going to have your trains, right? So if you're, you have to take the train to work or you want the trains, because you don't drive, you probably won't want to move up here. Can you walk? Sure. Is it going to be long? Yes. Yes, it is. So now let's let's talk about Break Hills. So I'm, me personally, some people think Break Hills is mid-island. I fully think, and I fully have it as this house shore. Um, and Great Hills actually has my favorite, favorite, favorite place on Set Island in it. The Marina Cafe that's down here. Andrew's Diner is so, so good too. Marina Cafe right here. I just, I'm a huge fan of both, huge fan of Sangria, huge fan of Rice Bowls. And they have all of the best stuff right here at the Marina. Um, so the Marina has a boat dock. So you, there are a lot of boats, uh, indoor, outdoor. We'll get more into that when I show you the whole area of Greek Hills. But for now, that's all you're getting because we got to get through it. <laughs> Again, Highland Boulevard, Great Hills right here. Highland Boulevard does go through Great Hills. So now in reference to Great Hills, there are buses that if you do want to take the bus to the train, you can do that. The train is right here. So there is a bus, Nelson Avenue, to go all the way up to the train station. So you could technically take the train if you wanted, or you could just jump right on Highland Boulevard and take the bus. So I feel like if you live here, you could take the bus if you want, or if you live above here, you could take the train, right? There are buses as well, Nelson Avenue um, and the train right here. Let's get out of this. So these are all of your South Shore areas, right? All of your South Shore areas. Look at all the green on the South Shore. You have, did we talk about Annadale? I think we talked about Annadale, because yes, Annadale Terrace. Famous, famous, famous place. When the governor of, when Governor DeSantis from Florida came to Staten Island, they were actually next to, were they in the, they were in the bakery of Annadale, next to that. That happens about maybe in the past year. They were, had that like big announcement at the Annadale Bakery next to Annadale Terrace. Food there is amazing. But again, it's Staten Island. Basically all the food is amazing. If there is food that is not amazing, I will tell you because can't lie about food. <laughs> all right, so all of these parks, you have your Grand Oaks Country Club. That is a golf course, and that is also on the South Shore. You have your Wolf's Ponds Park, that's on the South Shore. 
Again, we went over Mount Loretta, St. Joseph by the Sea. So you have schools sporadically on the South Shore as well. There are schools throughout the entire island, right? Eltingville right here. I did make a video on Eltingville. It is within the past year, actually only like two months old. So that video is up to date for the Eltingville. Nothing has changed. All the stats are in that video if you want to go check it out. The YMCA is a basically like a place that people can go work out, hang out. They have a huge gym, uh, swimming pools. It's basically a community center. Sophia's Taqueria, I finally went there. The food was awesome. Richmond Republic, great food, nice atmosphere. Pizza, again, Amboy Road's gonna have all of your, I can talk about the food for days. Amboy Road's gonna have all of your shops, you know, your, your, big, your big stores and your little stores. Um, food, nails, hair. Doctors' offices, pharmacists, at, at laundry mats, everything all over those main roads. I think I pretty much went through the whole South Shore area. Bloomingdale Park is right here. Really pretty park. Let's see if we can move in. Yeah, the South Shore is big on the whole island, really, but there is a lot, a lot of greenery between the South Shore and the Mid Island section. And, and we'll get into we're gonna do the Mid Island section in the next video. But yeah, there's a lot. So I think, I think that pretty much sums up the South Shore part of the video. So let me stop sharing my screen and let's jump into that market report so you guys can see what's going on in Staten Island right now. All right, we are back. This is Staten Island, New York. These are the market reports for the whole island, right? So right now we are in the seller's market. What does that mean? There is less inventory. If there's a buyer's market, there's more inventory. So right now, the market is favoring the sellers. We have 3.1 months of inventory left. So that means if nobody ever puts their house on the market again, there is only 3.8 months left of inventory. So if all of that's gone, we have no more. List to sold price is 96.6. Medium days on the market is 53, right? So 53 days. And that doesn't mean from getting the house to acceptance, that's from contract to close. So that's about 53 days. Medium sold price for the entire island is $620,000. Now, this is just the average price point for average house, right? For just, a, you know, throughout the whole island. You're gonna have your high end, your luxury, your condos, your co-ops that are 150,000, your condos that are four, 500, the high threes, your million, your million five, your two million. Um, this is just a generalized across the whole island, right? So new listings for medium list price, 665. There is right now 345 properties available on Staten Island. That's pretty low. That's pretty low considering we have a, we have a lot of houses. That's very low. Medium price per square foot, 436. Total sales volume over the past six months. 250 million nine hundred sixty one thousand six hundred and eleven dollars <laughs> your medium living price average square foot is about 1400 square feet that is accurate um not so much for i guess for condos and condos as well you know your semi is about 1200 square feet not including the basement your average size semi um this is really not detached homes unless it's a ranch style home you're going to be looking in your for large semis and and um bigger houses, you're looking well in your twos, high, like 18 to 2,500 square feet. Um, that's just, again, average. So that's gonna take the biggest and the smallest and put it in the middle throughout the whole island. Active listings, 665,000 is your medium price. 925, that went 6% down over the past six months. And that was 60 days on the market. Average price point, 434 square feet total sales volume and medium living price. So as you see, these are your market trends reports for Staten Island. For, what are we in? July, it does say June, right? Because the market report ends. Um, the market for June comes out now. Just like the market in May comes out in June. So that's why you, have, you see June, 2023. And uh, that wraps up our market report. And there you have it, the entire map of the South Shore. I hope you guys learned something. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna do the North Shore and the Mid Island section. So stay tuned for that. And my name is Allison Moreau, Associate Broker in Staten Island, New York, and Associate Realtor in New Jersey. 
My team and I get calls, text messages all the time. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call. We are so excited to help you. See you in the next video. Bye.